And up front now, a member of the House Intelligence Committee, Democratic Congressman Joaquin Castro. And Congressman Castro, good to have you back on the program. I appreciate your time. Uh, let me Thanks just ask me. you this question. Should Jared Kushner's security clearance be suspended immediately? Well, based on everything I've seen, both from public reporting and otherwise uh, in my work on the Intelligence Committee, I do think that there's great cause for concern in terms of Jared Kushner continuing to have a security clearance. So I think that the White House should give it strong consideration. So strong consideration. I mean, obviously, in the letter, uh, your Democratic colleagues, they cite an executive order in which they uh, they say shows that, you know, that, that his security clearance should be suspended. They say security clearance holders must always demonstrate, quote, according to this executive order, trustworthiness, honesty, reliability, discretion and sound judgment, as well as freedom from conflicting allegiances and potential for coercion. Does Jared Kushner demonstrate all of those things? Uh, I think that he's fallen short uh, based on everything I've seen. And for that reason, I'm glad that my colleagues wrote that letter. I think the White House should seriously consider revoking that security clearance of his. I bet this time. Um, you know, the, the letter also, as, as you know, Congressman, calls out the White House decision to allow General Flynn to learn America's top secrets, even as intelligence leaders, of course, as we know, felt that Flynn was susceptible to Russian blackmail. Um, who is responsible for this failure? The failure pointed out in this letter that General Michael Flynn was in these top meetings day after day after day when the top members of this nation's intelligence establishment felt that he was susceptible to blackmail. Well, that's an excellent question, and I think the buck stops with the President of the United States. Ultimately, it was the President of the United States who allowed Michael Flynn to stay in that job for as long as he did. And so if there is somewhere to squarely place the blame, it's with the White House and specifically with President Trump. And I just I, I do want to understand just one one thing, because when I answered asked you the question about Jared Kushner, you said the White House should strongly consider it, um, you know, revoking that security clearance. Is there a reason why you're not willing to directly say you think it should be revoked? Or are you purposely trying to walk a nuanced line there to give them an out or no? No. Uh, if it was me, I would revoke it. But that's a decision for the president. And so I think they should strongly consider what my Democratic colleagues have suggested. And do you trust his judgment in doing so? President Trump's? Yes. Uh, well, I don't have much confidence right now in the White House or in President Trump's decisions on hiring. Uh, so I'd have to say no. CIA Director Mike Pompeo briefed Flynn when he was the national security advisor every day on the nation's top secrets. And Pompeo, when he was given a chance last month, did not answer Senate lawmakers who asked whether he knew of concerns about blackmail and Flynn. And I just wanted to play that exchange for you, Congressman. Did you have any indication, secondhand, any sense at all that the national security advisor might be vulnerable to blackmail by the Russians? That is a yes or no question. It's actually not a yes or no question, Senator. I can't answer yes or no. I regret that I'm unable to do so. So, Congressman, my question to you is, from the investigation you have conducted thus far, do you think Director Pompeo was aware of those concerns when he briefed Flynn? Well, before I answer that question, I'd want to do the due diligence of getting him in front of the House mm -hmm. Intelligence Committee to ask him more questions about it. But I will say that uh, by the time Michael Flynn was in his term as director, there were already media reports, public reports, about some of the conflicts of interest yes. he may have had. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, I think anybody should have been aware, even without seeing any classified information, that there were red flags there. So, so I guess what you're saying is if Director Pompeo was aware from his own uh, knowledge within the CIA or aware from those press briefings, whatever it might have been. But he continued to brief Flynn, as we know he did. Should he face any sort of punishment or a reprimand? Uh, absolutely, although that's an assessment that we're going to have to make. I'm not prepared to say that right now, again, because he's not come in front of the committee for that purpose to describe what happened. Uh, but certainly if he fell short, if he knew about uh, General Flynn's issues and did nothing about it and continued to share these secrets, then there should be repercussions, yes. So, Congressman, before we go, I want to ask you about one thing here that, that, that could be significant. Uh, Russia tonight canceling a meeting between senior U.S. and Russian officials that was due to take place in St. Petersburg uh, to talk about uh, closening the relationship, I guess. Um, they canceled it because the Trump administration is expanding sanctions this week uh, against Russia for its actions in Ukraine and Crimea. Does this sound like the actions of people who 
colluded. They're actually upping the sanctions. Uh, I think it was the right thing to do for the United States Senate to overwhelmingly pass additional sanctions on Russia. I'm anxious to get that bill in front of the House of Representatives so that we can pass it also. And the administration should follow through with the sanctions. I can imagine that Russia is not happy with that. But remember, this is a nation that aggressively interfered with our 2016 presidential election. Mm -hmm. So they have to be sent a clear and strong signal that the United States is not going to tolerate that. Does this, though, on behalf of the Trump administration, make you feel more confident? that the president himself did not have anything to do with colluding with the Russians, if he is willing to go ahead and push sanctions like this forward? Uh, I think that it's a separate issue, uh, what, where we go forward in terms of policy versus what happened in the past mm -hmm. and who may have colluded with the Russians in interfering with the 2016 election. All right, Congressman Castro, good to have you back. I thank you.